Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that dust from the Saharan desert in Africa is over the state of Florida and the Caribbean too? I was reading um, a couple of articles on this and they were saying if you're experiencing respiratory problems and you're in Florida, this may be the reason why. And this uh, desert dust also they believe will suppress hurricanes because you know, it, it's gotta be a lot of moisture in the air in order for a hurricane to form. And this African uh, Saharan desert dust is actually drying out the air. It's making the conditions a lot drier than usual. And those drier conditions will make it very difficult for a hurricane to form. So this actually started y'all around June 10th. It was a massive plume of dust that came out of the uh, Saharan desert of Africa that made its way across the ocean. Now this is not down low. Let me just say that it's not down low. This is anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 feet above earth. That's where this desert dust is. So that's how it would have made it over here. And it did. So they're saying um, this dry air now suppresses a lot of hurricanes and thunderstorms from merging. And it will keep the, you know, the high pressure in the air down. So <laughs> they said right now, the state of Florida, this is the whole state, y'all, is surrounded by this layer of desert dust from Africa. Here's another article on it. And this came out on uh, the Tampa Bay Times. Okay, on the same subject matter, you can see Saharan dust and its dry air may help suppress hurricanes for now. I mean, this condition does not last forever, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see in this illustration, they're showing you from the west part of the Saharan desert and it's just blowing across the ocean. And now it's hovering over the state of Florida. So right here, the Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations call it Saharan Air Lair. It can extend 5,000 to 20,000 feet above Earth. And this tells me this don't happen every year because we've had back-to-back -back years of hurricanes. So this must be one of those things that just don't happen that often, but it does occur. So the dust brings with it a mass of dry air. And this is what one of the meteorologists is saying. So it will temporarily um, suppress any type of tropical cyclones from developing hurricanes, not only in Florida, but also in the Caribbean islands. So the dust plume, dry air evicts all moisture and thus rob potential storms of the fuel they need to start spinning our way. The tiny particles in the Saharan air layer have a surprisingly large impact on the weather in this part of the globe, showing what a complicated mechanism the Earth's weather patterns can be. So they really don't know. So they're just going into uh, Lake Chad, at one point was about the size of Lake Erie. It's now 5% smaller. And they said, when you look in there, you can see a lot of skeletons and bones in there of um, creatures that once lived in the lake, you know, because it has dried up um, over the years. Every year uh, for about 100 days, they said from spring to fall, you have winds blowing uh, out of the Saharan desert. And sometimes the, these uh, particles end up over Europe as well. It's not just here. But I want you to notice something, y'all. That air ended up here in the United States 
in the Caribbeans. Isn't that the same route the transatlantic slave uh, traveled? You know, isn't that the same pattern? It's, it's the same thing. So usually the dust particles feed photoplankton, build Caribbean beaches and fertilize the Amazonian rainforests. Sometimes the dust creates a beautiful sunset. And that's what they're also saying that the sunsets will look redder in Florida. So I don't know, I'm not down in Florida. I can't see these things, but they said it will cause the sunsets to have more of a reddish hue to it. And uh, sometimes it causes a thick haze to hang in the air over Texas. And sometimes scientists says it can feed toxic red tide algae plumes, like the ones that we saw recently off of the Florida coast for the last 14 months. Wow, I didn't know that the African Saharan dust could cause that. Now see that, I just learned that. The most recent plume of Saharan dust was first spotted by satellite floating above Africa on Father's Day and began arriving in the Gulf of Mexico this past weekend. Scientists were quick to caution weather watchers that a dust plume now does not affect what the hurricane season may be like in the you know in the year the strongest storms form later like august september and october yeah they're right about that because sandy happened to us in october that's very true account for 93% of category 3 or stronger hurricanes in the atlantic very true but wow i mean <laughs> There are so many things happening. You, you know, is this biblical too? I believe it is. I believe this is biblical. <laughs> you got African dust coming across the big old ocean over to Florida and the Caribbean islands. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, please tell me what you think. This is some deep stuff going on. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.